Randy Tudor. Good man. Damn fine man. Powerful stash. One of the greats. Wait, why'd you say you'd come quietly? You're the law, you know? You don't mess with that. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Well, yeah. So, you're good? It almost... It almost got me, man. It... <laughs> Sit down! That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you in one homo parade! This one! <laughs> That's good. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Good luck smothering them to death. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. That should help. Rad. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. And I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. This battery should fit the radio. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. You fixed it. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String him up on that tree. <laughs> Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that gun. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Oh, nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. 
You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. We're fine, by the way. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's, different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh... I know. I just smashed a guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. You touch any of my stuff? I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben, too. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. A little kid. Charlie didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. A thing's not full of milk, Charles. You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? How long since you been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Our cat is gonna be pissed. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. That's the idea, genius. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. What in the hell is going on? I have no idea that someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. I knew it. Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. I'm 
bunch of dumbasses. Then what the hell are you doing here? I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us, and, and I'm the one holding the gun. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Now tell me, who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. You don't look that old, so you're sick? My friend here asked you a question. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. You can either show me the way back or die right here. What's it gonna be? You son of a bitch! Sorry, but it's like you said. We've all got our own problems. Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery! Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. See you back in class. Molly! I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Let's get this over with. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? I got a bad feeling about this. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. <laughs> Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. <laughs> Get a hold. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Kenny sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, then? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Okay up there? I think I just peed myself. So yes then. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey. And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. Your arm and my leg. I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <sighs> It wasn't my favorite hand anyway. 